This is Andre Taylor. Welcome to Selling the Expensive, How to Sell Luxury in a World of Price Resistance. Have you purchased anything recently that was more expensive than you anticipated? If you're like most people, you've experienced a bit of sticker shock at one time or another, maybe recently. You may have estimated the cost of something, assuming that it would be one number, only to find that it is priced at a far higher number, maybe even a multiple of the price you thought. High prices are among the worst kept secrets in the world. Everything has gotten more expensive. And this has probably impacted you as a customer and as a sales professional, marketer, or owner of a luxury business. Undoubtedly, if it's high quality and distinctive, it's expensive. But today, even products and services that do not reflect the quality and distinctiveness you would expect are often priced higher than you might anticipate. There are a variety of reasons for this. The desire to boost revenue, competition, perceived value, and demand are some of the reasons. That means customers live in a world of high prices at every turn and may not have the capacity to discern product differences or have enough information to understand the merits of your premium pricing. There's been a disconnect between the intrinsic value of an item and the price charge for that item for a long time. In other words, the price tag may have nothing to do with the materials, cost to deliver, quality or distinctiveness of an item, but are more likely to be based on what can be charged for the item, revenue and profit goals, and operating costs of the business. Given this reality, it's crucial that high-end marketers learn how to sell expensive items, protect their revenues in doing so, and maintain a position of luxury and that of a premier provider in the minds of customers of whatever product or service they offer. Expensive offerings create a unique set of challenges. They must be targeted to the right persons, must be sold by the right persons, and delivered by the right persons. That's because expensive is a perception. It's also a relative thing. Being expensive can mean, quote, I didn't plan to spend money on this, just as easily as it might mean, this is priced higher than comparable alternatives. So you're always dealing with someone's perceptions or psychology when it comes to selling something that's expensive. Your attitudes. It may also surprise you that you're dealing with your own perceptions and attitudes. These can get in the way of selling products, services, and experiences that are expensive. You may have unrealized conflicts or known but unresolved conflicts associated with expensive offerings. Many people do. They have difficulty asking for certain amounts and may have difficulty mentally justifying the price tag. When a person who owns, manages, or sells for a business offering expensive products or services is unable to fully embody the persona, you may have a business that will underperform because it doesn't have full assertiveness, momentum, and credibility in the very market it has chosen. The major reason businesses fail is inadequate sales, and personnel not aligned with the high-end products and services of the business is a threat to the health of the business. Price shopping. We've all done it. We search for the lower price for a product, service, or experience. We decide we're not going to pay more than a certain price, or we search for discounts or bargains. These days, few people buy products that are not discounted or incentivized in some way. This is perhaps the biggest threat to the success and growth of a luxury business. Luxury at a discount is a goal shared by many buyers today. And that demands that businesses offering expensive products and services define and execute strategies and tactics to protect their market position, revenues, and profits. Many businesses have no idea how to do this, allowing leakage in the business at many levels. To protect revenues and profits, the business must masterfully execute details that most businesses ignore. Everything from the language used by associates to the anticipation and response to typical objections, 
to upsell strategies must be choreographed, relentlessly managed, refined, tested, and maintained every day of the business. Unless the business has taken an undeniably strong position against discounting, tactics to prevent weakening relationships with its client base, and intensified a highly productive stance, it is in danger of losing clients to discounters. It should be noted that the level of attention required to satisfy expectations in clients has become increasingly high, and what might seem like over-the-top attention is now the standard if you want to maintain long-term client relationships. Impatience, short attention span, short memories. No matter how great your offering, Prospects will give you very little chance and time to recover from mistakes, mishandling, and missteps. Underneath the client's desire for your product or service, they are looking for you to secretly demonstrate that you do not deserve their business. They're looking to get rid of you, eliminate you, or for you to disqualify yourself. Even when you are trying to do more for your customer, this can be interpreted as being greedy and excessive. When you're being businesslike, it can be interpreted as strict or unfriendly. You will lose clients, and many will not tell you why, but they will go elsewhere offended, angry, or determined to find cheaper options. Clients are impatient, have short attention spans, and short memories. That means your most recent experience with the client must be superior, because that is all they will recall. Pricing Trends now, one thing you realize as a customer, and you can be sure your customers are aware, is that prices go up and they almost never go down. Except for the occasional commodity like gas prices, which have risen and fallen due to political and economic shifts, most prices do not go down. In some markets and industries, prices are held artificially high because of dominant companies in the market. Just about every industry has pricing issues that impact doing business in that market. All of these pricing issues mean that you must be able to sell into an environment where the customer may already have negative feelings about market trends and is inclined to protest your price or find it to be enough reason not to proceed with a purchase. Or they may be swayed by discounts that as a business you find it's difficult to meet because you operate under a different business model, in a different market geographically, or face other competitive factors. You can be sure there are serious questions in the mind of your customer. Should they choose your brand? Should they make the investment? Will they be pleased with their buying decision? Can they get it at a lower price? Getting paid what you're worth. Rising prices can also bring an unexpected benefit to your brand. Your products, services, and experiences are worth more. At least they should be. But the question then is, how do you get paid what you're worth? If you're selling an expensive product or service where pricing norms are well established, this will of course be a beginning point. However, there's no barrier to breaking these norms and pricing what you offer at the highest point and even higher. If this is under your control, you might think about whether you have artificially created pricing barriers for yourself that make it harder for you to sell expensive items. So what are you worth? The secret is that we are always getting paid what we think we're worth, no more and no less. The key is deciding to raise your sense of what your products and services are worth and decide to work diligently to reposition your value and expand into new situations where your value is appreciated. Getting paid what your products and services are worth, like all aspects of success, is a mind game. 10 Things Expensive Brands Do to Win Number 1. They select high-paying markets, situations where there's a precedent for high pricing. They come in determined to expand the financial potential of their offerings and break through pricing barriers. Two, they develop their brands, the skills of their people, and their offerings so that their brand image, market experience, and customer successes 
engender high levels of confidence internally and with customers.